Hello, my dear students. How are you today? So we are going to have our lesson for today, which is the kitchen tools. Our quarter one, module one. So what I need to know? This will give you an idea of the skills or competencies you are expected to learn in this module. And our objective, objectives, so after going through this module, you are expected to, your number one, identify different types of tools. Number two, we are going to classify the types of kitchen tools based on their uses. Number three, observe cautiously the proper usage on how to take care of the kitchen tools. What I, what I know, so in this part includes an activity that aims to check what you already know about the, the lesson to take. If you get all the answers correct 100%, you may decide to skip this module. So here, use your, in answering our pretest, you are going to use the CPALIT sheet in do, doing this activity. And please don't forget to write your name, section, quarter number, and module number. Okay, so this one, direction, this is the direction. You are going to identify the word or words that best describe the following statements. Okay, here are here the following statements. Okay. The statement here, it is the most popular, lightweight, attractive, and less expensive materials of kitchen utensils and equipment. That's number one. Number two, it is a small electric appliance that is considered a complicated tool. Number three, a kitchen tool that is specifically designed for pulping garlic. Number four, it is used to grate, share, shred, slice, and separate, uh, separate foods. Number five, the most for all types of kitchen, kitchen tasks from peeling an onion slicing carrots, or carving the roast turkey. It is often referred to as cooks or chef tool. Number six. It is used to measure solid and dry ingredients. What's that? Number seven. These are used to measure smaller quantities of ingredients. Number eight. A handy tool for returning turkey, uh, returning some of the meat or poultry juices from the pan back to the food. Okay. And number nine it is a special coating applied to the inside of some aluminum or steel pots and plants that helps the food not stick on the pan. And number 10, a kitchen utensils used for stirring and mixing that is made of hard wood. Okay, here are the answers for number one question, aluminum. Number two, equipment. Number three, garlic presser number four grater number five knives number six 
kitchen. Number seven, measuring cup. I uh, no no number six, measuring cup. Seven, measuring. Eight, spoon, scraper. Nine, teflon. And a ten, number ten is wooden spoon. Okay, what is it? This is a uh, comprises in the module. This is what, what I know, what I have learned. Now we are now in what is it. This section provides a brief discussion of the lesson. This aims to help you discover and understand new concepts and ideas. Okay, kitchen tools are uh, kitchen utensils commonly found in the kitchen. Okay, a cook should be familiar with the correct utensils, devices, and equipment in the kitchen. It is important to consider several things, not only the prices when you buy them, the job of cooking requires specific tools, utensils, and equipments for proper and efficient preparation of food. Each piece of design for the specific use in the kitchen. Tools, utensils, and equipment are made of different materials. Each has certain advantages and disadvantages. The following is the list of kitchen utensils equipment that commonly found in the kitchen. Okay, so number one, it's the aluminum. It is the best for all around co-use. It is most popular, lightweight, attractive, and less expensive. It requires care to keep it shiny and clean. Moreover, it allows even heat distribution no matter what heat temperature you have. It is available in sheet or cast aluminum. Since it is, uh, since it is soft metal, the lighter goods will dent and scratch easily, making the utensils unusable. Aluminum turns dark when used with Alkalis like potatoes, beets, carrots, and other vegetables, whereas acid vegetables like tomatoes, tomatoes can brighten it. Okay, that is aluminum. The next one is the stainless stainless steel. It is most popular material used for tools and equipment. But it is more expensive, it is easier to clean and shine, and will not wear out easily compared to aluminum. Choose utensils with copper, aluminum, or laminated steel buttons for cooking. If you do not want a pot to get back, uh, black spots, Stainless steel st uh, utensils can be bought in many go uh, goes from light to heavy. The next one is the glass. This one is the glass. It's good for baking but not practical over heat or on the surface while cooking. Great cares is needed to ensure long shelf lives. life. The next one is the cast iron. This is the cast iron glass here you found in the picture. It's sturdy but most to keep a weld to avoid it from getting rusty. It is also be maintained by rubbing, shortening, or salad oil with no salt. Inside and out before leaving it dry, remember 
to wash it with soap and not detergent before using it again for cooking. Okay, let's proceed. And we are now in the ceramic and heat proof glass. It is used specially for baking dishes, casseroles, and measuring cups. Glass and ceramic glass conduct heat slowly and evenly. Many of these baking dishes are decorated and can be can go from stove and oven to the dining dining table. The next is Teflon. It is a special coating applied the inside of some aluminum or steel pots and pans. It helps food not sticking into the pan. So dili ni siya pilit plus. Have you experienced this one? It is easier to wash and clean, but take good care of it not to scratch it with a sharp instrument such as knife or fork. Use wooden or plastic spatula to turn or to mix food instead. Okay, we are going to use plastic. The next one is the plastic and hard rubber. This one here in the picture are used for cutting and chopping boards, table tops, balls, trays, garbage, garbage fields, and canisters. Plastics are gently durable and cheap but may not last long. Number three is the colanders, also called vegetable strainer. So this is the colanders. They wait for a while. So here, number three, this one is the colander, or also called vegetable strainer. Are essential for various tasks from cleaning vegetables and straining pasta or tin content. Number four, this one, is the cutting boards. Our wooden or plastic boards where meat and vegetables can be cut. Okay. And number five, this is the dredgers. This one. It is used to shake flour, salt, and pepper with meat, poultry, or fish. Number six. The double boiler, this one here is the double boiler. It is used when temperature must be kept below boiling point for egg sauces or puddings. It is also used to keep food warm without overcooking. Okay, this is the double boiler. Number seven is the emery board or sharpening steel. Used to sharpen long knives. This one, emery board. Okay. The next one is the flipper. This is the flipper. A picture of the flipper. It is used for flipping food over in a frying pan or on the griddle. Okay. Next, number nine is the funnel. This one. You look very familiar to your class. Okay, so used to fill jars made of made of stainless steel, aluminum, or plastic that comes in various sizes. And next is the garlic press. This one is the garlic press. It is a kitchen tool which is specifically specifically designed for the purpose of pulping garlic. Okay, number 11, use to grate, the grater, sorry, it's the graters. Use to grate, shred, slice, and separate foods such as carrots, cabbage, and cheese. Okay, this one class. Number 12, handy poultry and roasting tools. This one. Used to make it easier to lift a hot 
roasted turkey from the roaster from the roaster to the serving platter to avoid food from falling apart. Number 13 is the kitchen knives. This is the example of the kitchen knives. It's often referred to as cooks or chef, uh, chef tools. Knives are very essential for all types of kitchen tasks, right? From peeling an onion or from slicing carrots or carving the roast of turkey. And number 14 is the kitchen shears, this one. They are practical for opening food packages here in the portion here, okay? Cutting tape or string or simply to remove labels or tags from items. Other cutting tools such as box cutters are also handy. Number 15 is the measuring cups, spoons are among the most important items found in the kitchen. For a cook to be consistently good at cooking, accurate measurements of ingredients are needed. Measuring tools should be standardized. Scales are used to weigh materials in bigger volume. Okay? And the next one, this one are this uh, commonly used measuring tools at home or in the commercial kitchen included the following here. Okay, commonly measuring tools. Okay, number one, measuring cup for dry ingredients. This one, these are the measuring cup for dry ingredients. Used to measure solid or liquid ingredients such as flour, fat, or sugar. It is commonly made of aluminum or stainless materials. Sizes range from 1, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 3 fourth, and 1 fourth. Nested cups. No, to 1 gallon. Okay, there are cups made of plastic and come in different colors but could only be used for cold ingredients otherwise it could rupt causing inaccurate measure the next one is the measuring cup for liquid uh, number one is for dry now is for liquid ingredients commonly made up of heat proof glass and transparent so that liquid can be seen. Measuring and quantity and liquid ingredients is different from the dry uh, dry measuring cup. They're, yeah, they're really different. The next one is the measuring spoon. Okay, that's the third one. Come in variety of sizes, materials, and colors. So these are used to measure smaller quantities of ingredients called in the recipe like one tablespoon of butter or one fourth teaspoon of one four teaspoon of salt like that's an example this is the measuring spoon then scopes and drippers this one so used to measure soft foods such as uh, fillings ice cream or mashed potatoes this one okay then this one is the portion scale used to weigh serving portion from ounces or pounds pounds okay the next one is the household scale a uh, scale sorry for Use uh, are used to weigh large quantities of ingredients in kilos like rice flour sugar, legumes, vegetables, or meat up to 25 pounds. And the next one, number 16, is the pasta spoon or server. Okay, this one. 
the pasta spoon or a server used to transfer cooked pasta into the container. This one here. This is the pasta spoon. Then, or a plate without mess. Pasta spoons are best used with spaghetti style or other long pasta noodles. You can use a large slotted serving spoons for short pasta. Okay. Then, number 16 is the potato masher. Potato masher, this one class, potato masher. Used for mashing potato or cooked potatoes, turnips, carrots, and other soft cooked vegetables. That's number 16. Number 17, rotary egg beater. This one. Toyo kung sa kasa. It is used for beating small amount of eggs or batter. The beater should be made of stainless steel. Then the gear driven to is in rotating. Number 18 is the scraper. Okay. It is a rubber or silicone tool to use blanch or scrape the food from ball. This also serves as the egg turner or flippers. Next is the C, uh, number 19, seafood serving tools this one okay make the task of cleaning seafoods and removing the shell much easier for cooking seafoods utensils use may vary depending on what they are cooking the next one is the serving spoon yeah serving spoon are utensils consisting of small shallow ball with handle and it is used for preparing, serving, or eating food. Okay, next one is the serving tongs. Allows you easily to grab and transfer larger food items, poultry or meat portions into a serving platter, hot scale deep fryer or onto a plane and it gives a better grip the longer the tongs the better especially when you use with a deep fryer large stack pot or for barbecue okay then the next one is the soap level it is used for serving soap or stews but can also be used in a gravy, dessert, sauce, sauces, or other foods. It is also worked well to remove from skim of fats, oil from soap or stew. Okay, so now, now we are going to have our different kind of kinds of knives and their specialized uses. Okay. So, number one here, this is the butcher knife. Used to section raw meat, poultry, or fish, and fish. And it can be used as a cleaver to separate small joints or to cut bones. Butcher knives are made of heavy blade with a saber or flat grind. Now, second one is the French knife. This one. Use the chop, dice, or mince food. Heavy knives have a saber or flat grind. The next one is the roast beef slicer. This is the one. This is the one. Use to slice roast, ham, and stick solid cuts of meat. The next one is the boning knife. Used to fillet fish and to remove raw meat from the bone. This one is the fillet knife. The next one is the fruit and salad knife here. Used to prepare salad greens, vegetables, and fruits. 
The next one here is the citrus knife. Used to section citrus fruits. The blade is two-sided with a serrated edge. edge. Okay. Then the next one is the paring knife. Used to core, peel, and section fruits and vegetables. Blends are short, concave, with hollow ground. The next one is the spoon. Okay? So our solid, slotted, and perforated. They are made of stainless steel or plastic. And they, the uh, solid ones, the solid ones are used to spoon liquids from food or to lift food out of the pot. Here. The next one is the temperature scale. Used to measure heat intensity here. Different thermometers are used for different purposes in food preparation. Other small thermometers are hung and placed in ovens or refrigerators to check the accuracy of equipment's thermostat. Okay. The next one is the two tie fork. This one. Two, two tine fork. Used to hold meat while slicing and turning solid pieces of meat with borrowing or cooking. It is made of stainless steel with a heat proof handle. Okay. The next one is the vegetable peeler. Used to scrape vegetables or peel fruits. The best one is made of stainless steel with a strap double blade sweepers. Okay, the next one is the whisk for blending or mixing. Used for whipping eggs, butter, and blending gravies, sauces, and so. The beaters are made in a looped steel plant wires which are twisted together in the form of handle. The next one is the wooden spoon. This one is the wooden spoon. And our kitchen essentials made for creaming, stirring, and mixing. And they are should be made of hard wood. So now we are going to have our what we can do our performance okay here what I can do you're going to use the separate sheet in answering this for the printed module you can uh, pass use the intermediate pad and please don't forget to write and put this to your right uh, box so you're going to write your name Grade and section, the subject, TLE, lesson title, module 1, quarter 1, kitchen tools. Okay? So the direction is you are going to, on your paper or notebook, list down all, all the kitchen tools and equipment you can find in your kitchen and state how you can properly take care of them in a second column here. Here's the second column that you are going to. Here you are going to uh, list down or maglista ka. That is kitchen tools that is found or equipment na makita, there's a prop, makita sa inyong kitchen. Okay, example for number one. Food, uh, fruit and salad night. So, what do you take care of? How do you take care of them? After using, wash properly. This is after using, uh, wash properly after using and put it in a proper place. Still the second one, the wooden spoon, same. The vegetable peeler, same. 
Rest for blending or mixing, the same uses. Then temperature scale, clean properly and put in a proper place. Okay. Number uh, six, spoons. Clean properly and put in a proper place. The French knife, still the same. Then roast beef slicer, still the same. You are going to clean properly and use it in a proper place. Butcher knife, you are going to clean properly and use it in a proper place. Then boning knife, still the same. So these are the 10, um, 10 items for your performance you are going to submit. Here is in the assessment class, okay? So, an assessment, still, you're going to use the separate sheet in answering the test. Be sure to write the following. Still the name, the subject, grade and section, and the lesson title. Okay, number one. Uh, the direction is, you are going to match column A with column B, then you're going to write the corresponding response that your answer okay i put already here the answer class i know that you are studying the previous uh, slides so here it is used to scrape the vegetables such as carrots and potatoes up and, and to peel fruits the answer is letter h okay you will find it later on what is letter h Next is the utensils consisting of small swallow bowl with a handle used in preparing and serving or he eating food. Okay, the answer is letter B. Okay. Then, number three, it is used for beating small amount of eggs and butter. Letter B. The answer is letter J. So, number four, it is used to hold meat while slicing or turning pieces of meat while brewing or cooking. Okay. The next one, letter uh, number five, it makes the task of cleaning seafoods and removing the shell much easier. Number six. Number six is it is used for serving soap or stew, but can also be used for gravy, dessert sauces, and other food. Number seven, it is used to measure heat intensify. What is that? Number seven. Number eight, it is used for whipping eggs and butter. And blending gravy sauces and so. Number nine is a kitchen tool which is specially desired for the what's that? Number nine for the purpose of pulping garlic. The last number, number ten, is a tool used for flipping food over the frying pan and or griddle.